So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are all well. So guys, I want to talk about a fight that I think um, is being overlooked. I think it's a fight. It's not being overlooked. The promotion's good, and I feel that uh, I feel that people are looking forward to the fight. However, I think there's a fighter being overlooked, and that's Danny Garcia. You know, Errol Spence is already talking about Canelo. He's talking about Crawford. Um, Danny Garcia is a live dog in this fight. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered with Errol Spence. You know, he's come off a car. He's come off a car crash. His last performance before the car crash wasn't great against Porter. Many people thought that Porter could have, Porter should have nicked it or it should have been a draw. So that's not exactly a, a great performance when he was the heavy favorite to stop Porter. You know, I know Porter's got a great chin, but many people thought that he would stop Porter and he would do it a lot more emphatically than what Thurman and Brooke, how Thurman and Brooke beat Porter. Now, for me... Personally, I think there's a lot of questions. I'm not so sure. You know, I w I'm very confident that the Errol Spence before the car crash, right, would have beaten Danny Garcia. I, listen, I think, I think Darren, that, um, Spence has got the better skills. But after that poor performance and then the car crash, before the poor fight, if you were to say to me that Errol Spence beats Danny Garcia comfortably, I would say, yeah, I do think stylistically uh, this fight may not be as tough because Danny Garcia doesn't fight like Porter. He doesn't fight like Porter, you know, he doesn't bull, try to bully you and try to, you know, rush you and he's not a pressure fighter like that. He likes to time his shots, he likes to, he throws a lot of wild shots that, you know, I, I, like, I don't, don't really like calling him wild because he does land them, he has a way of landing his shots. Uh, but he's not technically the best fighter in the world, Garcia, but he is, he is a very good counter puncher. He waits for you to make mistakes and then he throws. Um... Errol Spence is also a very calculated, very good boxer. You know, he can punch, he's strong, he's a big welterweight. However, I think people are overlooking Danny Garcia in this fight. Danny Garcia can punch. Danny Garcia is a, a good puncher. And I don't think Errol Spence... I don't think he's faced anybody that punches like Danny Garcia. I think Danny Garcia would be the hardest puncher he's been in the ring with. Now, I know people will say Kel Brook, but Kel Brook's not the... I've never thought Kel Brook was the biggest puncher. Kel Brook... No, I think Garcia's. I think Garcia's punches are more wild, and I think they can catch you off surprise because there's punches that you don't really see coming. Um, and I, and I feel like Garcia has serious power. I do. I think he wings them in. Um, and I think Garcia's power. You know, if if Errol Spence gets careless in this fight, he could get caught and hurt. You know, Danny Garcia's no mug. People are just assuming that Errol Spence is going to walk through. Listen, this is going to be a twelve round hard fight for Errol Spence. There's no way, in my opinion, I see Errol stopping. Garcia, this is no way I see that fight him being stopped. If I'm honest with you, I think I think Danny Garcia's chin is probably the best chin in the game. And I will say this: I also think Danny Garcia's resume is probably one of the better resumes in boxing of all active fighters today. It's one of the best. It's up there with Canelo, Pacquiao. It's up there. He's got an unbelievable resume. He's fought them all. He's fought them all. You know, and, and listen, the Dan let's not forget the Sean Porter and Keith Thurman losses that he had. They were split decisions. The poor fight could have easily gone the other way. I thought Thurman probably nicked it. But again, it's a split decision. Very close loss. You know, we're not talking about a guy that's been blown away. You know, he, very close. You know, so Danny Garcia is no guy to be overlooking. You know, he's a top, top fighter. And I think he's going to cause Errol Spence. Listen, I do expect Errol Spence to win by decision. But it wouldn't shock me one bit after what Errol Spence has gone through that Danny Garcia wins. It wouldn't shock me. And like I said, there's a lot of questions because after the Sean Porter fight, there was many questions about Errol Spence anyway. Many people thought, hang on a minute, is Errol Spence what we think he is? Because the poor performance wasn't that great. Let's be honest, he was quite a big favourite in that fight. And people said, well, no one looks good against Porter. However, people, were, people thought Errol Spence would be the guy... That would make Porter look ordinary and beat him. And then a lot of Errol Spence's fans said, well, oh, well, you know, Porter's a tough fight. Well, no, no, no. We we think Errol Spence is extra special. So we expect special things in the ring. You know, his performance was, in my opinion, a lot worse than Brooks and Thurman's. His, he, he, to be fair, did he win that fight? That was a close fight with him and Porter. So this fight for me is a fight where I think Errol Spence has got to make a statement. 
Because if this is another one where he gets knocked down, don't look great, and people are going to start questioning Spence's pound-for-pound -pound status because, like I said, his resume at the minute isn't great. I know people go on about Crawford's resume, but if you look at uh, Spence's resume, it's not exactly stellar. You know, he's fought, what, Brook? Yeah, that was a good win in his backyard, but let's not forget, Brook had come off a knockout loss against Golovkin. He had had his eye socket busted, right? And then he fought Mikey Garcia, who's a career real lightweight, really. Right, so he was a, he was too small. So, but still, Mikey was a top pound for pound fighter. But still, I I think it was it was a lightweight he was fighting. He wasn't fighting a welterweight. And then Sean Porter was probably his best win, but that was a win where a lot of people thought he didn't win. So, again, I I do think there's a lot more for um, Errol Spence to do. Uh, and I think this Danny Garcia fight is going to give us a gorge where he is it after the accident, and also. Um, he can make a he can make a statement and a claim for the being the best welterweight in the world. Now, I mean, people have their opinions. I feel like if Garcia if Spence goes out there and, and knocks out Garcia, that would be a statement. That would be a statement because I don't think Garcia is getting knocked out. So, uh, and I think many people think this would be a twelve round decision because Garcia's got a granite chin. So, if Errol Spence can force the stoppage here, that would be some statement because I don't see it. I don't see him for forcing the stoppage, if I'm totally honest with you. I think Danny Garcia is very, very tough. Danny Garcia's chin is up there with Golovkin and Canelo as one of the best chins in, uh, in one of the best chins in the game. I do. I do. He's never even been down. And he's been hit with some corking shots. Right? He's been hit with some he's been beat up in fights. I've seen him like Thurman hit him with a huge right hand. You know, he took some serious lever when he fought Khan. He took a... In the first three rounds, Garcia was catching a beating. I mean, Khan was battering him. Absolute battering Garcia. And he was taking a beating. His chin is one of the best chins in the game. You know, so Garcia and he can punch. And that's always a dangerous fight. A guy that's got a great chin and can punch. Right? You gotta be wary of that left hook. If that left hook hits you, it's curtains. I don't care who you are. Spencer's got a good chin. Spencer's got a good chin. He's got good boxing skills. I still think though, there's there's question marks about Spence due to the accident he suffered. That's it's gotta be. It was a serious accident, man. We're not talking about a small accident here. This is we saw the car flip over and you know at, at very high speed. That was a serious accident. For someone to tell me that that kind of accident had no impact at all, it's hard to believe. And if Spence doesn't isn't impacted by that, then he is Superman. He is the fact that he came out of that alive to me is a Superman. The fact that he's gonna fight already shows he's a Superman. If he's if he if he's still the same Errol Spence, like I said, he's definitely a Superman because that was a serious accident. And the other thing someone pointed out is that his face was mashed up when after the accident. Is his face going to cut up easy? How's his face going to when he gets hit, caught with a punch? Now, you've got to understand he's been sparring. So, you know, in sparring, these things would have been um, assessed in sparring. However, in sparring, you do wear a headgear. So, in a fight, there's no headgear. You're getting caught flush. On your skin, it's like I said, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions. I do expect Errol Spence to beat Danny Garcia, but again, I'm not I'm not as confident as I would have been prior Sean Porter, pr even after the Sean Porter fight. That accident was serious. So there's a lot of questions. Everyone, Teddy Atlas in his podcast said, we don't know what Spence at. Many people are intrigued about this fight because they don't know where Spence is at. They don't know whether that Spence is the same Spence. We hope he is. We hope he is for boxing's sake, for some of the big fights in the welterweight division's sake. We hope Spence is okay. We hope Spence is the old Spence. But again, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. You know, Errol Spence is a is a great fighter. Errol Spence is one of the best fighters out there, you know, today. But like I said, there's a, still a lot for him to achieve. And I feel like Keith Thurman was somebody that, you know, he... He was somebody that kind of went off the rail. He had got injured and he's never managed to get his mojo back. I hope this accident isn't the same for Spence. I hope Spence can kick on. Uh, I hope Spence doesn't turn out to be another 
Furman where, you know, he promised a lot and doesn't quite... And that's the difference between, I think, Crawford and a lot of these guys. Now, hopefully Spence gets his act together and, and that accident hasn't had any effect on him physically or mentally for that matter of fact. The difference between Crawford and all these guys, Crawford lives and breathes in the gym. He eats, sleeps, drinks, boxing, man. I don't... Maybe Spence is now, after that accident, he's got a second chance, but Crawford's always been dedicated from day one. He's been dedicated. You know, never see him out of shape, never see him blow up in weight. He's always in shape. Whereas Errol Spence, I've seen him buffed up, I've seen him heavy, you know. I never see that with Crawford. That in itself tells you that, look at Golovkin when he was in his prime. Never seen him out of shape. Always in shape. Never fat. And that shows a, a consummate professional. And hopefully, listen, hopefully Spence can get his act together. Let's see how he looks against Danny Garcia. But I'm telling you guys, Danny Garcia is no pushover. Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Guys, make sure to smash that like button. Smash that like button. Uh, it really helps with the algorithm and, and my channel. I really appreciate all your support over the years, like I said pre previously. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.